You've always had my back when I needed you. I know you'll keep Gotham safe. Gotham Knights has you facing down Batman's rogues gallery all over Gotham as Batgirl, Robin, Nightwing, and Red Hood. You also have a chance to fight crime with a friend in two-player online co-op, but you will not be able to do this right from the start of the game. Here's a quick guide on how to unlock multiplayer. All available guards to Red Blood. Play nice. To unlock co-op, you'll need to progress through main mission 1.2, the Langstrom Drive. This is basically the second main mission you'll do in the game, or the first main mission you do after the prologue. When you get back to the Belfry after finishing this mission, you can head to the back computer in the middle of the room and read the newspaper on the right side of the desk. This will trigger a short cutscene with Alfred, and after it you'll be given the tutorial for multiplayer. From there, you can set the privacy level for how people join your game, friends of friends, friends only, public, or invite only. From there, you can either enter other people's games or have someone join your own to play through Gotham Knights. It's also worth noting that each session is always leveled to the host's current level. So if you're level 30 and join someone's game who is level 10, you will drop down to level 10 rather than go full Diablo 2 on their world. However, you will always keep your XP in progression, and you'll be able to skip missions in your own game if you did them in someone else's playthrough. For more on Gotham Knights, check out our recommendations I'll for the be best good. skills to unlock first, or dive into our full guide on IGN. Gotham is in good hands.